Welcome to Shogun. In this video, we are going to cover how you can create a sales page with the Shogun Page Builder template. Here we have already created a page with one of our pre-made templates. We have various different types of templates that you can use. Most of the page has now been taken up by the template. And as you can see, the template already has been pre-populated with content. Here we have a countdown timer and a call to action. We then have a hero image with a discount code and a call to action. Moving on, we have a product box with an offer banner, free shipping and return section. We then have customer reviews, a collection of products, and finally, a large product box with a sale item. This template creates a foundation that you can use to customize with your own branding. Most of the page customization is going to be created from our drag and drop elements. These are located here on the sidebar on the right hand side of the screen. Each element of this template is completely customizable, allowing you to replace each element with your own content. Here you can change all of the pre-built content within this template by doing the following. When you select the element that you would like to change, for example, our call to action, it will open up a set of controls and a set of styles. Now, this will allow you to edit each individual element and also determine how each element looks and performs on the page. For example, here you are able to edit the background color within this template. You can do this by clicking on the section and scrolling down within the controls. You will then have the option of choosing a color from our color selector. You can add a hex code so that will be able to match your own branding. Here you can see I have a set of saved colors. So when you select a particular color, it is very easy for you then to save this by clicking on the plus icon. This is going to ensure brand consistency, but it's also going to save you time every time you select a color for a particular element. So next we are going to move on to the text element. So when I click on the text element, this is going to open up our full rich text editor. So for example, I have some text that I have already pre-written. So I'm going to paste this in here. I also have the option to have use of Google's full font library, but you can import your custom font if you have that from your e-commerce backend. Next, I'm going to edit how the text is placed. So I'm going to align this in the center and I'm also going to add a bold aspect to the text. Now, as you can see, I have changed how the text looks on the page, edited the font, edited how the uh, text is placed. So moving on from there, we're going to move on to our heading element. Now, when you click on the heading element, this will open up the controls and styles. You will have the option of choosing the heading type. So we have H1 through to H6. Again, your font, the weight, I'm going to change this to 300 and you have full controls to edit the heading. Here, I'm going to edit what the heading says. So I'm going to change this to weekend flash sale. And I'm just going to edit where that's placed. And that is our heading element. Now, the last two pieces on the top part of the page is our countdown timer. So when I click on the countdown timer, this is going to open up again the controls and styles. Slightly different this time. This will allow you to determine what the countdown timer says. So how many days you're going to run it for. And also when the set uh, countdown is from so a particular date and time or when you refresh the page and finally we have our button element when you click on the button element here I can very easily change the color so I'm going to scroll down and change this color using the color selector 
but also I can change all aspects of this button. So the font, the weight and the size as well. So that is the first part of the page edited. And as you can see, it is very easy to do that by using our drag and drop elements, but also by using our controls and styles to determine how it looks. Here you can see that we have now created a sales page by using only a page builder template. I have switched out all of the images, the fonts, the colors and products for my own branding. Most of the template has been preserved in terms of the structure, but as you can see, all of the elements have now been customized. The next part of this video is going to show you how to save and then publish the page. From here, any edits that you make, you will then have the option to save by clicking on the save button on the top right of the screen. Before you push the page live to your website, we do have a feature that will allow you to preview the page. You can do this by clicking on the eye icon and selecting preview page. After a few seconds, the page will then load in the browser. As you can see, you are able to preview all of the content on the browser before it goes live. The next step is publishing the page and you can do this as follows. Move back to the page builder editor and click publish. This will then push the page live to your website. Now you have created your first sales page by using Shogun Page Builder. Please feel free to test out all of the drag and drop elements and also all of the templates that are available.